the fastest 40s and ahead to who will be the fastest off the board in Vegas next month. Yeah, we just spent the last four days watching these guys work out at the Combine. Now it's time to make sense of what we saw. And 23. Ooh. Patriots haven't taken a quarterback in the first round since 1993, Drew Blezzo. So that would be super interesting. I was 10. Not sure he'll be there at 23, though. He had a pretty good weekend, Michael. Who else caught your eye at that position? Yeah, it was Jordan Love. Uh, he ran off, what, 4-7? Um, I think he's had a great showing. He, you know, he worked out in some, po in some um, postseason bowl games. I think this kid is moving up a lot of people's draft boards. Feels like it's a Love-Herbert conversation <laughs> and a Tua Burrow conversation, like they're yep. being grouped that way. Didn't get a chance to see Joe Burrow spin it. We will at his pro day on nope. April 3rd. What do you feel like you'd like to see from him then? Well, it, it, you know, Joe, this kid has it all. So, again, I just want to see the arm strength. But other than that, I mean, he's checked off. The boxes. What about Tua, whose medicals seem to check out well over the weekend? That was the word. His pro day is April 9th. Anything you need to see from him? Oh, I just got to see him running around healthy. Yeah. You know, I, I want... which direction would you go? If Tua is completely healthy, mm -hmm. um, I like Tua. It's just because you, you've just seen him do it. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what happens if Tua does check out to be 100% yeah. healthy. As you know, he was the guy before his injury. Would he jump back into the top spot if the injury wasn't an issue? Charlie Casserly, who 12 days away from the new league year, will Amari Cooper still be a cowboy? And where will the guy on my left go? Came to leave one of our favorite guest analysts about to hit the market with us for the entire hour today, wearing a suit from the Broncos collection. <laughs> Back in the day. I'm taking all calls, man. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Somebody call him. <laughs> Maurice Jones Drew. Don't call me, though. <laughs> Don't call you. You're done. No, I'm done. I also like it here with here you, Lindsay. For the hour. Thank you. I like it here with you. I'm Lindsay Rhodes. This is NFL Total Access. Tough story as you may have. Well, like I think that we need to talk more about this, and I know you travel, so will you walk with me Let's to go this. over to the I like the that jacket, screen. family. And flush this out. Yeah, yes, that, was, that was nice. Yes, I like yes, it. Sir. It was love. <laughs> so we've got the best corners of the decade. You've already told us who you best think is number one, and I think MJD might disagree, but... Should we do the Revis versus you thing here at two and three? Yeah, of course. Well, let's start with Charmaine. The guy has 35 interceptions. So, the decade. The, the, like 2010 The stats to that I had in okay. 2008 and 2009, they're not counted on this list. That's generous of you. So, okay, with so number, he's number one. With that being said, with number two, Akeem Tlaib. Akeem Tlaib. This guy, now nah, nah, this guy, Akeem Tlaib, he this has... This guy. He has... 26 we minutes. should book this to keep to leave guy on our show i'm telling you this guy is, he, he's a hell of a player <laughs> he's a hell of a player <laughs> so, let's go number okay. three can i do this you don't even need to tell me you said let's two go and yeah three. Revis, let's debate, go right revis is next now revis is different he's a different breed in our in our in our decade he follow guy and last and, on, and only reason i put put this guy at number five is because he played in the slot a little bit my little brother chris has joined okay because he traveled in that slot, and that, that outside is a little bit different. It's a little bit different when you're on that. He, he, Are you just like, they hear something I know about Chris Harris? Great match up. Great well, they good job. Come on, now he got to be on got the it. list. But he really earned it, man. He's in football, man, and I think his game translates into wins. You don't have to convince us. We're big Chris Harris Jr. fans here. Uh, My top of the decade, Richard Sherman, to Tlaib, Daryl Reeves, Patrick Peterson, Chris Harris Jr. I said that. Keep to leave. Known for a couple of things, right? She's a special one, and so are the women who joined me now who helped produce the pieces that you will see on Sunday, Jamie, and chose the clip that we just watched, which was actually the end of the full-length feature. Why did you choose to introduce us to her that way? Because I share that part. You did a great job with the story. Mm -hmm. It's an amazing story. It has so many layers to it. Uh, she has also battled cancer. She was a product of the foster care system. I mean, it's a great story. Uh, the other stories are awesome as well, all on women that are breaking barriers of some kind in football, from the broadcast booth to the practice field. We've got some coaches on this show. And, Jamie, you produced a piece on a woman that I didn't. Her name is Kathy Lanier, and she has had quite a journey. So you know you're a boss if the story of your life is entitled The Chief. What drew you to Kathy's story? Oh, man. I mean, what didn't? She really... 360. It's also going to feature a roundtable by Melissa Stark, who's the show's host. Uh, we will get all of these different subjects together in one place. It's Kathy. It's Tony Harris. It's Andrea Kramer. It's Lori Locust, who is one of the Bucks coaches. What was most memorable for you being a part of that conversation? It was crazy. Girls that are kind of coming through and... and Interesting bonding experience. Yes. And to that, I mean, what I... 
and Annie Gottlieb, who did Andrea and Hannah Sue, kind of the unthinkable. Yeah, and they're the best at what they do. It's not able to see an incredible to tell that story. And we'll learn more about that Sunday, 9 p.m. Eastern, NFL 360, women in football in celebration yes. of International Women's Day. It's uh, <laughs> right here on NFL Network. Thanks for being here, guys. Thank, Thank you. you.